Hey Kawan, welcome to EDC Ready. Today we are doing an unboxing of a watch. Now I am very new to the watch game. Uh, right now I am wearing a Seiko SRPE 50, sorry 61K1, something like that. I forgot what the exact number, but this is definitely one of the newest Seikos. And I recently purchased a watch from a micro brand. And then here is the reveal of that micro brand. So uh, for those of you who like watches, especially the whole micro brand world of watches, you're gonna maybe understand or know what that Z stands for. This is from a company called Zelos. Zelos is a company based in Singapore, so it's a neighboring country for me. And I got this guy. I bought it when it was uh, during its uh, early pre-launch price, uh, which is at 369 USD. I think that's what it is. I'll double check, I can't exactly remember, which leads to about 1,400 ringgit or so. So, uh, the thing about Z losses, I've heard that they have very nice packaging. So once you pull off this nice sleeve, what you're gonna find, you're gonna find this nice wooden box coming from Z loss. Uh, looking around this wooden box, you know, I thought that it would be a little bit darker, uh, but this is okay. I wish it's, I wish it was a little bit more sanded. You still get some rough patches here. You get this little dent here in the wood itself. Or maybe that's a piece of glue. Yeah, that's a piece of glue or tape or something. Okay, uh, it is, it's all right, you know, it's not something like amazing, but it's quite nice as well. I can use it to keep my uh, EDC nice a little bit later on. So let's open up this bad boy. Oh yeah, wow. Okay, that is different. So uh, in previously, Zelos always came with a watch, a leather watch roll. But in this case, it is not a watch roll. It is a watch pouch, which is very nice. Inside the box is just some more wood. Very nice, very fancy, kind of janky looking hinges here. Uh, this hinge is a lot better, but this guy here, quite janky and the edges here are kind of rough. You might want to sand this down if you want to use it every day. But uh, let's talk about the watch or what's in the packaging. We have here a, I believe a leather watch case or pouch. Okay, you get some uh, dust from the, uh, get some dust from the wood on the inside right there. Get a nice little zipper tab. Okay, let's open this up. So you can have the full experience. Okay, so far so good. It definitely smells like a leather wallet. So that's nice. Let's open it up. Now zippers are not like super high-end zippers, but they'll do the trick. Just be careful with them. Boom. Okay, what do we have here? Let's hide that. We have a little silica gel thing to keep it from, uh, from uh, getting too wet in there and moist. We have a couple of straps here. I do not know, I do not know what these straps are for. They are probably straps for your straps. You get a little uh, copper card right here, which is your warranty card. There we go. This is the Zelos warranty card. It has a date here, which is March 2020. And I believe, oh, I, I think there's something wrong here. I bought this in 2021, but it says here March 2020 with a one year limited warranty. So that means uh, this, if I were to follow everything here, it might mean that this watch is actually out of warranty already. So uh, I'm going to call them up on that and check that out. Serial number 116 that is going back in. This actually worries me a little bit. Like I just got this watch here. Today is, uh, today is the uh, 1st of March 2021. So it can't be out of warranty already. Okay, moving down. We have some more empty pouches here. And then we have the watch itself. So the watch is held in here. Let's put it back, put it out a little bit. There we go. Now, what else is in here? Some more paper, some more plastics. Okay, so what is this? This is the uh, 40 millimeter uh, Zelos Swordfish. Okay, it comes with the Meteor right dial. It is a dive watch with a, with a bezel. I believe it has 200 meters worth of water resistance, so nice and good. So let's do an unboxing, an unwrapping, shall we say. Take out all the plastic. What do we have here? Any plastic on top of that? Yeah, we do. Come on, where is the seam of this plastic? There we go. Uh, anything on top of that? No, nothing there. Let's open up this clasp. There we go. Remove the plastic. All this is to protect the watch. See now, get this guy out. All right, all right. See now, take this guy out more plastic here and there on the underside as well definitely trying to maintain the look of the watch as much as possible we have here a stainless steel watch with a stainless steel bracelet it's 
see now. Almost done. We have this last piece right here, which I can't remove. Okay, hold on. It's coming out. Maybe this is not meant to be removed. There we go. There we go. That's all. All right. So what are the specs coming on from the website? This is a 40 millimeter watch with a, uh, I believe a lug width of 45, 46 millimeters. Let's check that out. I do have these calipers on hand. We have here a watch that is very much 40 millimeters. Yeah, we have a lug to lug width of um, 47, 44.5. Yeah, we're gonna call that 45.5 millimeters. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're gonna call that 45, 46 millimeters. We have a thickness of, on the website, it says, I think 12 millimeters or so. We're having here, it's coming in at 12.4 millimeters, which is very nice, including the swordfish at the back. We have the swordfish at the back. We have a sapphire crystal, I believe, at the front. Let's check out the bezel action. We have a 60 click bezel, and that is a very nice bezel action. We have, uh, what else do we have here? We have a date at the six o'clock window. And then, yeah, so let's uh, put this guy on the wrist. Find out what this, what, how it feels like on the wrist. All right. All right, on the wrist, not size to my brace, uh, not size to my hands, it's actually quite big. But, I don't know, all in all, it looks good. It looks good on my hand. Definitely taller, slightly taller than what I'm used to with this guy. It actually looks slightly bigger than this guy, despite it having the same uh, the same size of the bezel. Despite having the same bezel size, it actually feels a little bit bigger in hands. Probably because the lug likes probably probably because the lug to lugs are a little bit longer than the Seiko. Now, one thing that really impressed me about this guy in the photos are the loom. So this has not had any charge at all. See if I can show this off to you guys. I have not charged this at all. This came perfectly fresh from the box. And if I can show it to you. If I can show it to you. No, I can't show it to you. Do check out the full video to find out what that loom, uh, how, how that loom looks in a little bit. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go size this to my wrist. It does use a screw out bracelet. So I can just uh, unscrew that with my little tool right here. So it's very nice, but one thing I do like about this is that it does have a quick adjust. Let's check out that quick adjust. How does that work? Oh, it does not have a toolless quick adjust. Whoa, that is unexpected. It does not have a toolless quick adjust. Because almost every other swordfish, uh, or almost every other z -Loss watch that comes with a bracelet has a toolless quick adjust, but this guy doesn't. Wow, that is a little bit disappointing. Okay guys, uh, Thank you very much for this video and I'll let you guys know when I do the full review. Thanks guys and stay ready.